In this video, we will be looking at the Cartesian form of a complex relation and how we can use the CX CAS to help us derive relations. So to start off, let's look at example one. Example one says, describe the set of points in the complex plane specified by the relation, uh, the set of all points Z, such that the product of Z plus three and the conjugate of Z plus three is equal to 16. So going over to our calculator, all, the best way to do this is to simply type in the relation as we see it and substitute in the, the, the port, substitute in z equals x plus y i. So to start off, we can start with the bracket z plus three, close bracket, open bracket. And now to get to conjugate, we have to go to menu and then number and then complex number, which is number nine and then simply press one for complex conjugate. So the words conj comes up with a bracket, simply press Z after that for the conjugate of Z, then plus three close bracket equals 16. Once that's done, let's now substitute in Z equals X plus YI. To do that the easiest way, simply press control, then the equals button, then press left to get to the vertical line, which is given, and then type in Z equals X plus Y. Now to type I, don't type in the I from the keyboard. We have to use the special complex I, which is in the Pi menu. Press right for I, enter, enter. So now we've got the equation there in Cartesian form. However, it's not the best, uh, best looking form. Let's try and go to, get it into something a bit better looking. To do that, we're going to go to menu, three for algebra, five for complete square. Now simply press up to highlight the previous uh, answer. Press enter to copy and paste it into the entry line, comma, X, comma, Y. Press enter and there we have it. We have X plus three squared plus Y squared equals 16, which is the equation of a circle centered at the point negative three comma zero with a radius of four. Moving on to example two, now we have to find the Cartesian form of the line with equation absolute value of Z plus two is equal to the absolute value of Z minus one minus square root three I. Okay, so to get this question done, we're gonna re uh, repeat the same procedure as before. That is type in the equation and simply substitute in Z equals X plus Y I. To get the absolute value or the modulus, simply press the template button, which is right next to the book or the catalog, and then press and then navigate to the first entry in the second column, which is the modular signs. Press enter, and then now type in the equation, Z plus two, press right to get out of the modulus equals, and now press the template button again. And now you notice that the modulus is already highlighted, from, from the last time. Press enter again, and then Z minus one minus square root of three, press right to get out of the square root, and then pi right arrow I as last time. So now let's substitute in Z equals X plus Y I. Control equals left, enter, and then Z equals X plus Y pi right I. Press enter, and now we get something looking quite similar. What you can do at the moment, uh, you, can, you can start working on this equation and doing backtracking with it. However, we can simply go straight into the solve command. Menu, three, one, solve. Press up, enter to copy and paste it, and comma Y, let's solve for Y. There we go. So the Cartesian equation is Y equals negative root three X, which as you can see right here, it's a straight line going through the origin with gradient negative root three. But furthermore, you can also see that the blue line is the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining the points negative two comma zero and one comma root three, which are of course the coordinates generated from each of those particular complex numbers. Moving on to the final example now, our job is to show that the circle given by 
the equation mod of z plus 1 is equal to square root 2 times mod z minus i. We have to show that that circle given is the same as that given by modulus of z minus all of 1 plus 2i is equal to 2. Okay, so the way we're going to work this is we're going to work through each equation individually and hopefully get the same answer at the end. So looking at the first equation, it's modulus of z plus 1, right arrow, equals square root 2 multiplied by, again, modulus, and then z minus i. So z minus pi, then i. And then we're going to substitute in, as, as before, z equals x plus y pi, and then i. Okay, great. So we've got the equation of the, of the circle now. Before, I before we proceed any further, it's a good idea to simply get rid of those square roots there. And the way to do it is just simply press the x squared button, which will square both sides of the previous answer. Now press enter, and we get basically a collection of x squareds, y squareds, and a couple of x's as well. Let's now go and complete the square. So menu, 3, 5 for complete the square. Press up, enter, comma, x, comma, y. Press enter, and there we have it. We have the equation of a circle, albeit in slightly different form. Now, we can take this to the final answer by dividing by negative 1 manually, or we can do it on the calculator as well. To do this on the calculator, simply press divide, and then negative 1. Press enter, so that gets rid of the negative. And now let's menu 3, 5 again, up. Enter, comma, x, comma, y, and there we have it. That's the equation of a circle centered at 1, comma, 2 with a radius of 2. So we have to show that this circle is the same as that given by modulus of z minus bracket 1 plus 2 pi i, and that equals 2. Let's again sub in z equals x plus y i. So given z equals x plus y pi, right arrow i, and there we have it. Now let's square it as before, square both sides. Press enter, and now menu 3, 5 for completing the square. Press up, enter, comma, x, comma, y, enter, and there we have it. So x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4. Comparing that with the previous answer, as you can see, it's exactly the same. And therefore, we can be confident to say that the circle given by mod of z plus 1 equals root 2 mod z minus i is the same as the other equation given. And this is the picture of that. Thanks for checking out this video. 